<laughs> Either way, though. <clears throat> Let's go continue where we left off last night. And continue from chapter 11, where we just... Oh, what was it? We just defeated, uh... I forgot their, uh, the, the, their extra part of the curse names, but, uh... Yeah, Tota and Suzuka goes in. Yeah, so we just beat them, and now we're gonna move on to the final stretches of Hei and Kyo. Also, every now and then I might take a pause in reading so I can take a bite of my pumpkin pie and all, being Thanksgiving and all. Don't mind me. I defeated an awful boss, their names don't merit memory. <laughs> Repress. Uh, like, I, like, I understand what they're going for cutscene-wise, but implementing that into gameplay... Like, you think they'd have a... You think it'd be a thing where it's like, they lose their resistance when they're at max NP charge, right? So, you know, that means they're ready to release it. Uh, you know, you, you think it would make more sense like that, you know, like, you know, once they detect the chargers are full, lose resistance, and that's your moment to strike. It might have worked better if our characters had more health than they do. It also might have worked if they didn't do as much damage as they did. <laughs> uh, hey, Detail. How you doing? Also, hey, Nier. Good morning. Uh, so I didn't say hi to you earlier, but yeah, hope you're doing well. The eastern edge of Heiankyo. At the outskirts of Gojo Street. But if we had like 50% to 100% more health, it would have been less of an issue. Yeah. And if uh, defensive buffs were... Uh, actually, I guess defensive buffs... Oh... Well, no, I mean, we obviously we have Cast Castor Toro, but I was thinking about like other more common defense options. Like just your bog standard defense up and shit. I don't know. The other side of Kamagawa. A little ways off from city limits. Also, I gotta mute my mic real quick, god damn it. Ugh, excuse me. Under noble circumstances, it would be a quiet, desolate place. But today, there are people gathered en masse. A group of Genji warriors, experienced killers of monsters of, er, of monsters one and all, wordlessly surround their target. That target. A humanoid demon riding atop an enormous Tsuchigumo. Hello Rick, how you doing? Oh, this one's different. So, you have me surrounded. I see. You do not fear this great Tsuchigumo, no matter how it towers over you. You do not run. You do not scream. Instead, you fearless warriors only grip your swords even tighter. You are clearly not ordinary people. No, we are not. We are Genji warriors. We are the vassals of Lady Minamoto, or Minamoto no Raiko, entrusted by the Minister of the Left with the protection of Kyo. This boss is like, way less of an issue. A breather? Oh, thank god. Now who are you, demon? And what are you doing here riding atop a great Tsuchigumo? Genji... Genji, you say? So there are Genji here as well. Did you hear that, uh... Wait... Kuga, uh, Kugamimi no Mikasa? It seems we will at last get to make our long-held dream come true. No coffee, watch any chainsaw man episode? Or watch the chainsaw man episode? Nice! Listen well, warriors of Genji. I am poison. I am cold steel. <laughs> I am the embodiment of hatred. I am the Genji clan's end. I am a heroic spirit corpse that has materialized here in Henkyo along with the great Tsuchigumo, Hashojin Saiha. Huh. <laughs> no, that is not quite right. Even as a corpse, my wrath is as, is as strong as ever. I am Saikyo Taira no Kage- uh, 
Kage Kia. Oh, we found a seer. And I have come to bring death to the whole of your clan. Now die, Genji. One of the uh, Tyra warriors? If you're a remnant of the Eastern Rebellion, then we cannot let you leave here alive. Oh. Death. Death comes. The demonic figure was true to their word. Riding atop the great monstrosity, the third of the general gods, they rampaged through Kyo with an army of Tsuchiguma at their command. Saikyo Taira no, or Taira no Kagekiya, the fourth of the general gods. Not a single Genji warrior was left alive in the demon's wake. With every, bleh, with every step the demon took, more Genji perished. Every swing of the demon's blade reaped a harvest of Genji lives. There remains... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, no, 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 I was, I was misreading that. There remains nowhere safe in... Uh, in all of Kyo for the Genji. Oh, I get to see Kage Kyo. All right, Avenger. But right now it's Thanksgiving, bird. Must stay strong and wait for Ibuki, do uh, Ibuki Doji literally around the corner. Ooh. Also, I doubt I'll finish the reading that quickly, but I think once we finish uh, or in the event, I finish reading FGO tonight. I think I might actually switch to 30XX because, like, I was doing a, I was doing a run of that earlier, and uh, I saved in the middle of it. I kind of want to go finish that run, <laughs> if at all possible. So if I can read uh although again i haven't actually looked up how long the read estimates are per chapter but uh we'll see i wonder how things are at the palace right now i hope the emperor lady shoshi and lord michinaga are all right i was already on my way here in the carriage before a night fell or before night fell in the middle of the day Before that red moon hung in the sky, and that demonic tree towered over us, or over us. Well, I arranged it that way. Anyway, don't worry. It's okay, Limbo is still Ashiya Dolmen, even if only just, so he won't kill them anytime soon. Uh, since everyone here has been playing much longer, what's your average SQ for Singas Asar? I mean, like, statistically, it should be roughly within like 120-ish pools in total so then like that would be well I mean there's like the 11 pools but if we're kind of taking that away for a moment uh that'd be about 12 times 30 like 360 statistically but don't don't always go by the statistics but you know uh sometimes you can get it like uh you might get it within like your first 120 St. Quartz. Sometimes 400. Some people went to 1400 or more. And hence, rate up is a lie. So, honestly, you can't, like... Like, you might... We might tell you an average, but it's definitely not something to stick with or use as a confidence booster, which will only serve to crush you emotionally when your disappointment eventually arrives <laughs> but yeah like it, it like with the rate ups in fgo as it is although granted there is pity now they they put it in early if i remember correctly right like just like literally like the other night or so or something but uh i believe the pity was like 300 rolls so you need like 900 quartz or some shit yeah, what Bryce said, even if you're trying to go for a 4-star, sometimes RNG Jesus will just say, will just give you the middle finger, and yeah, you can spend that, you can spend that much St. Quartz having saved up for so long. 
three banners against Summer Morge in MP5. Props <laughs> to getting it, or to getting your MP5. He may be a, car a carnivorous beast dis bleh, disguised as a man, but he is still human in small ways. He's going to want as large an audience as he can get, at least up until his wish is granted. So just relax. Oh, and don't forget, Lord Michinaga is there too. You're very hesitant spending any Saint Quartz that you don't know what you want. Yeah, so like, the general rule of thumb... 4 or 5 star doesn't matter, game will F you over anyways. Yeah, that too. But in general, like... Save for like... Either characters that you really, really like. Like, characters that make you go, oh my god, I'm, I'm just in love with either, you know, their lore, their design, like, personality in-game, or just whatever. Go for it. Or, secondly, if they're like meta, you know, kind of like Cast Oratoria, well, not so much Scotty anymore, uh, Merlin, Waver, or like, you know, like the big support casters that can really help carry you through certain parts of the game or some other certain kinds of people if you're looking for like certain like gameplay reasons to get them the the like so basically favorites top priority gameplay lower avail obscuring the truth but yeah uh with how stingy saint courts can be yeah like basically don't rely on trying to pull on every banner. Like... I mean, I don't know, like, it, obviously it all comes down to personal preference and restraint, so, and I can only say so much. Either way, though. He may not be a warrior or an Omyoji himself, but he truly has the devil's own luck. And above all, when he speaks, people listen. We're getting a free 5-star ticket next year, so count that one, planning pools. Oh, we are? Oh, sick. In the West, there was once a conqueror by the name of uh, Caesar, or Caesar, depending on uh, who, who... Actually, actually, it's, it's like either or for that pronouncement, right? I, I think I remember... Was it in, like... I remember in Fallout New Vegas, I believe they pronounced uh, Caesar as, like, uh, Caesar or something like that. I don't freaking remember. Either way, though. Who was said to be a great uh, or, uh, orator. Orator? Orator? I don't know. And I suspect that Lord Michinaga is every bit his equal. Lord Seime. Very well. I understand. There will come a time when the Genji will need to invade the palace and rescue the people trapped, th uh, trapped there. But for now, it seems we can trust that they are safe. I am relieved to hear you say that, Lord Seime. Raiko, Raiko. How can he hear when he isn't actually saying anything? Ah. That's true, isn't it? How strange, we're only reading his words floating in the air. But it feels as though he's right here with us. Once this is all over, I wonder if this method of communication will become more common. Aw. Oh. <laughs> I can say that a thousand years in the future, communicating via text over great distances is very common. Oh my, you don't say. That's amazing, Lord Abenosame. I can't believe you're showing us something from a thousand years in the future. <laughs> uh... It's almost as though you're peering across time itself. As though you were traveling, making a very, very long journey. Tick tock, tick tock. I wonder what kind of clock you use. A clock? You mean that thing that uses water to tell time? Uses water? A water clock, yes. It's a machine that uses flowing water to measure the passage of time. Oh, I've never seen a water clock before. Actually, you know what? Fuck, I'm gonna go Google that right now. What the heck is a water clock? A water clock or clepsydra uh, is any timepiece by which to, by which time is measured by the regulated flow of liquid uh, into inflow type or out from outflow type of vessel, and where then the amount is measured. 
Oh, uh, so kind of like hourglasses, but then uh, it just uses water instead. Invented to record time during periods of no sunlight for sundials. Water clocks are the oldest... Ah. Uh. Oh. That's cool. So, as water goes out... Then you basically tell how much water is in the... The, uh... The pot where the water flows into the town which time has passed if it's like filled a lot then you know like a lot of time in the day has already gone by if there's barely any days basically just started or something like that that's cool huh yeah that that water clock's the one thing i hate guarding no, we're supposed to be right to sleep. Oh. Because <laughs> he's always, like, hearing the, like, the water just trickling down, and then... Yeah, uh, you know, that's understandable. Yes, I can see how you would be ill-suited to that sort of thing. You need a fair amount of knowledge to build and maintain one of those devices. Fine by me. Other people can take care of their water clock duties, and I can take care of my guard duties. To each their own. Oh, speaking of the time, it's been an hour since Dunza went out on patrol, huh? He ought to be back by now. Uh, oh, speak of the devil. I've returned, and I have a report to make. The third and fourth general gods have materialized at Gojo Street, near, near the Kamagawa. Maybe he literally can't summon more than two at a time. Most likely, which would mean there are hard limits uh, to Limbo's summoning capabilities. And let's not forget he already used the Holy Grail to summon seven heroic spirits not long ago. So Limbo needs three more heroic spirit souls to grant his wish. The easiest way for him uh, to get them would be to summon at least three simultaneously and feed their souls to the pseudo tree of emptiness all in one go. But instead he's only summoning two at a time, right near the edge of my all-encompassing bounded field at that. Why would he do such a thing, even if he can't summon them right at the tree itself? The sensible move would be to summon three or more in separate locations and have them head for Suzaku Gate at the same time. That way we, we, would, not, we would have no choice but to split up our forces to stop them. So the fact he isn't doing that must mean... He can't do it. What else can you tell us, Lady Dunzo? If this place took... Oh, wait. If this took place at the eastern edge of Gojo, then Hase and Goto uh, should have been there. Right. There was indeed a group of Giji warriors there led by Lord Hase and Lord Goto, along with a group of officers. <clears throat> but I'm sorry to report that the enemy wiped, more than two -third, or wiped out more than two-thirds of them. I see. Then we will head out right away. Lady Media, we must go. Coming. Here, Lord Tsuna. Lord Kentucky, I made rice balls for you. Alright, thanks. Make sure you guys eat up while you can too, Kirby. Or er, Kirby and Danzo. Wait, th there's still more I need to tell you. One of the general gods has taken the form of the great Tsuchigu or of a great Tsuchigumo. And the other one, who goes by the name Saikyo uh, Taro no Kagekyo, is a true Genji killer. This is an affliction of mine. If if I see a Genji, I kill them. So so don't growl at me like that. I can't help it. You may kill everyone we fight, except the Genji. Kill all you like. Eat your fill. There, you see, you don't have to wait long at all. Although something about this enemy smells or er, smells and pungently at that. You there, are you affiliated with the Genji? That form, that voice, 
could they be? I am Kato Danzo, servant to the master of Caldea. I am also currently a guest of sorts at Lady Minamoto, or Minamoto no Raiko's uh, residence. It seems you consider the Genji your sworn enemies. May I ask your name? A corpse needs no name. Or so the other general gods claim, but not me. Even as a corpse, I remain Kage uh, Kagekyo. Kagekyo. Indeed, I am Kagekyo, the Blade of Hatred. My Hasojin name is uh, Saikyo. My full name is uh, Tyrano Kagekyo. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Kugumimi no Mikasa, but given how much this puppet's uh, this puppet stinks of Genji, it would seem that she too is my quarry. <laughs> Oh. Oh, we're way no shot. Oh, fuck. Actually, no way. We wouldn't be able. To... <gasps> we would be able to use Mr. Code anyway, since we wouldn't. Since Dunzo's alone during this little flashback to uh, her report. Ah, shit. Strength up versus Genji. Genji poison. Hello, Shiki. How you doing? Okay. Something tells me not to kill the Suchi Gumo so that uh, Kagekyo gets less attacks to work with. So, how about. I mean, I do have an invincible. And I have an evasion. Oh boy. Uh -huh. Okay, hold on. I'm still trying to eat my pie right now. <laughs> Battles are food breaks for me. Did we find out who the small girl was? Oh yeah, that was nursery rhyme. This around is adorable. Oh, wait, drop rate. Evasion and drop rate. Fuck, well, I'm, I'm actually gonna have to just use it here. Phase <laughs> I don't look winnable. No, nah, we can win. Soon? Maybe? That's how you do an Askel. Ryan, this her Ryan normally takes uh, the form of her master as a child. Yeah, what uh, what Bryce said. Heat spider. Wait a second. Something else I'm gonna die. I want to hold off for like one more turn on the invincibility. To survive one more turn. <laughs> and that's why I held that's why I held off on the invincible. I thought I just I just have one more turn. I guess we won by rule of three. Oh shit. 
<laughs> Psycho Tyrant no Kagekiyo. As I thought, it seems this latest Hashojin is making no effort to hide the true name either. I expect that uh, that's owed to. Oh, oh, oh. That's owed to Limbo's supreme confidence in his pawns. But it's a showy, sloppy tactic. Still, it does work in our favor in this case. Uh, planner roll? Nah, nah, I'm saving for Ibuki Doji, like literally around the corner. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm saving. Now then, changing gears. How many of you already know who, uh, wait, how many of you already know who Ta Tyrano Kagekiyo is? Not me, I'm afraid. Was he a warrior with the, uh, Kamuheishi, or Heishi clan, perhaps? The traitors Lord Fujiwara no uh, Hiresato faced during the rebellions in East Japan were prominent Taira warriors. But I've never heard of this Taira no Kagekiyo. I've never heard the name before, either. How about you, Kinta- Uh, oh, never mind. Why am I even asking? Yep, no clue here, either. <laughs> Yes, uh, Taira no Kagekiyo is associated with the Kamuheishi, but not the one you know. They hail from over a hundred years in your future, and approximately three hundred years before my own time. They are a survivor of the uh, Genpei War who bears a deep grudge against the Genji. I see, so this person is also, a t er, is also from a time beyond tomorrow. I suppose we shouldn't be surprised given that Kirby is from a thousand years in the future. Still, I was unaware that heroic spirits could come from uh, the future as well as the past. They were originally known as Palace Guard uh, Akushi, uh, Akushichi Kagekiyo of Kazusa, right? Correct, Master. Yeah, I totally knew that. <laughs> they took the name uh, Taira no Kagekiyo after swearing fealty to the Taira clan. Legend says that after the Genpei War, they swore revenge on the Genji clan for wiping out the Taira clan in their efforts to establish the uh, Kamakura Shogunate. In fact, Taira no Kagekiyo is said to have led attacks on Minamoto no uh, Yoritomo, the founder of the Kamakura Shogunate, no fewer than 37 times. Some legends even claim they were both monstrous and unkillable, even surviving decapitation. I'm certain that is uh, who I encountered. As a heroic spirit, Taira no Kagekiyo is like a living weapon that operates solely to annihilate the Genji. Unfortunately, the group of Genji warriors led by Lord Hase and Lord Goto were among the first to die at Lord Kagekiyo's hands. I see. So they killed every Genji warrior present. Indeed, the third of the force that survived was composed entirely of Imperial officers. The moment the Genji warriors drew near Kagekiyo, they dropped their swords and fell to their knees. It was almost as if they were offering their heads voluntarily. I suspect they owe some ability Kagekiyo possessed by virtue of being a heroic spirit. The Kagekiyo I saw was a true killer of Genji, in every possible sense. They are your natural enemy, almost as if they are a poison that only affects the Genji. It doesn't matter how strong you are, if any of you get near Kagekiyo, they will have your heads for certain. Then it would seem another challenging battle awaits us. Thank you, Lady Danto. We would certainly have walked straight into our deaths had it not been for your warning. What about the officers? What became of them? Kagekiyo is also leading a pack of Tsujigumo, which the officers alone were unable to defeat. After making a strategic retreat, they gathered more officers and set up an encampment on the Kamogawa Bridge that leads to the city. Kakekiyo and the Tsuchigumo were moving there at a fairly unhurried pace, so they arrived at the river later. And now for some reason, they appear to be simply holding position, glaring at the river rather than advancing. The hell? I thought the general gods were supposed to head right for Suzaku Gate. What, this Taira no Kagekiyo person got some fond memories of the Komogawa or something? I'm not sure, but... There is one more thing, Master. Kagekiyo bears a close resemblance to Lady Ushiwakamaru. Oh. 
U Ushiwakamaru? As in that Ushiwakamaru? Yes, they were identical to my sensors. It would I would not be surprised if this Kageki was actually a manifestation of another side of Lady Ushiwakamaru, and that she simply changed her name for reasons we do not know yet. That being said, Ushiwakamaru, that is Lady uh, Minamoto no uh, Yoshitsune, has never demonstrated anything like Kagekyo's talent for killing Genji. It's probably... Uh, even if... Eh, yeah, I'll go with the first line. Even if they are Ushiwakamaru's altar, there's gotta be some more... Or there's gotta be more to it. Is something wrong, Lady Kirby? You seem pale. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I guess I did, so who is this Ushiwaka person? Well... Uh... Her name is Minamoto no Yoshisune. Ushiwakamaru was her childhood name. Minamoto uh, Kuro Yoshitsune, born Ushiwakamaru. She played a key role in the Genpei War that will uh, uh, occur approximately 200 years from now. She greatly admired her older brother, Minamoto no uh, Yoritomo, the leader of the Genji at the time, and fought valiantly for him in many brutal battles. But in, in the end, Yoritomo branded her a traitor and had her executed. So she would certainly have a reason to bear a grudge against the Genji. So this Ushiwakamaru is also consumed by hatred just like Taira no Kagekyo. Hatred. Grudges. These are terrible, horrible things. At times, they even bear fangs here in the city. Bringing disaster with them. I see, so our next enemy is one that bears a fiery grudge against all Genji. Then we have no other choice. If we Genji are powerless to stop this opponent, then it's time to stop worrying about appearances. We will simply have to ask for help from the most powerful fighters residing near uh, Kyo, Kintoki. Uh, yeah? You are to set off for Mount Oe immediately. And secure aid from the Oni. Oh. Oh. Oh my, uh, are you sure, Raiko? I thought you despised the Oni. Now you want Kintoki to ask him for help? I really, or I agree with Lady Raiko. Asking the Oni to help is a brilliant idea. The only ones in the city capable of combating a threat like this are the Genji. The officers, uh, the officers just can't keep up. Oni, on the other hand, are natural-born fighters. And while there may not be many Oni in this town with permanent homes, we know we will find a great many of them on Mount Oe. Yes, an excellent choice, Lady Raiko. Thank you, Lord Seime. I'm still quite far away, but I'll do what I can to reinforce the banner field around the Kamogawa Bridge from here. Whether this new figure is Kagekyo or Yoshitsune, there's no telling they'll stay, how long they'll stay put. Time is of the essence. Go on, Kintoki. We're all counting on you. Got it! Just because we're going to ask the Oni for help right now doesn't mean we couldn't also lay a trap for them. Ah. They may not be eating humans any longer, but they're still Oni. It's only a matter of time until they harm more people. And I'm the leader of the Genji, so it's my duty to... Aiko! Aiko! Majimaru! I know what it is you're thinking, and you don't have to think like that. You want to be a kind and loving mother, right? You can't treat your children's friends that way. I know you just regret it, or... You just... Or, I know you regret it if you do. <sighs> yes, you're right. I cannot lose sight of what is right and just. It would be wrong to betray anyone who has aided us in a time of need. I will never be like Lord Ta uh, Tamura Maro, nor do I wish to be. I will never nurse a grudge of my own, be it against Oni or Tsuchigumo. However, that being said, killing monsters is the only way we have to ensure peace in Kyo, and I am a warrior entrusted with this defense, but I am also a human being. And I have no desire to kill when it is not necessary. Oni or not, they're still powerful fighters. Shuten was even chosen to be a master for the Imperial Holy Grail War. And there could be other times in the future when, when we may need their help. Nonetheless, I cannot I cannot be sure I'll simply keep my or be able to keep my sword and sheath around them. And soon I'll cut off Ibaraki's uh wait. Iraq is just arm? 
Ah, uh -uh. just arm. The other day. That is why you're the only one we can ask to do this, Kentoki. Go, or go welcome the Oni, uh, or the Oni of Mount Oe to the city and convince them to fight this general god. Be they, uh, Taira no Kagekyo or Minamoto no uh, Yoshitsune. You got it! I'll end there as fast as my legs can carry me. Kirby? Zanzo, I wish I could say I can handle this all by myself. But I know I might not be able to keep my cool around Shuten. Would you mind coming along with me? By the way, the bit about Ibaraki attacking him and him cutting off her arm is from the original myth? Oh, cool. You don't even have to ask. Awesome, thanks. Here, I wrapped the rice balls in bamboo bark. I also cast a simple stamina recovery sp uh, spell on them. Please, please be careful, everyone. Thanks, Media. All right then. Off to Mount Oe. And I'll have more bites of my pie. I'm still gonna go into food coma after this. Like this pie, it's not that dense, but it's heavy. more bond points for Scotty. And get rid of this. Get rid of this. Alright. I've never seen the moon look so damn eerie before, or eerie before. It's even glowing a weird shade of red. Not to mention it's night all, all the time that thinks that tree of emptiness thing. I'll never get used to red moons. Not that I can say that while we're way up in the air like this. Keep your mouth shut, Kirby. You don't want to bite your tongue. Maybe we should have stuck to running after all. Leaving up high like this is a good way to avoid monsters, but... Silent thumbs up. Huh? What is it? It means Master is fine with continuing to travel this way, Lord Kentucky. Oh yeah, alright then. Let's keep this moon gazing journey er, going a little longer. Don't worry, we'll take a break before I head up the mountain. Well done, Master. Let me scan your inner ears. Good. Everything seems to be fine. Now that we've finished our transit, we have arrived at the foot of Mount Oe, approximately 100 kilometers northwest of Heinkyo. I've already marked the Oni's castle coordinates on my, on my map, so it shouldn't take us long to make our way there. This seems like a good time to have Medea's rice balls. Understood. Here you go, Master. I also brought some water in this bamboo flask if you like. Would you also like a special Fuma style, uh, Hyoro, Hyoroga, uh, Hyorogan? I took the liberty of making some improvements to the recipe. Uh, maybe some other time. I see. Aw, we made her sad. Man, those rice balls look good. Will you, uh, will you be eating yours now too, Lord Kentucky? Nah, I'll pass. We're already in Oni territory now. So I'll need to stay on my toes a lot more here than I do in the city. Well, no, that's not all of it. Truth is, it's better if I'm a little hungry for this. I don't want to accidentally use my full strength if it's shooting to me and end up fighting again. Hang on. You do know we didn't come here to fight, right? Master is right, Lord Kentucky. 
We are paying the Oni a visit to request their aid in battle, not to battle them ourselves. But I'm guessing they won't agree without a fight. Because yes. I know that. I'm not looking to pick a fight either. But we're still talking about Oni. Am I always chock full, chock full of them? Can't go forgetting that, no matter what. That aside. It sure is weird that I'm setting foot on OA for once. Feeling like everything's all backwards. You said Shizen Doji comes down uh, to Kyo once a month, right? That's right. She steals things, destroys shrines, and generally gets up to all sorts of mischief. The first thing she steals is always wine, the good stuff offered up to the palace. Sometimes she'll kidnap a pretty lady and make her a cupbearer. Sometimes she kidnaps a guy and makes him do it for him instead. Er, makes him do it instead. She then sees something she likes and takes it. Then she'll talk about how she loves moon gazing, but she always loved gazing into a uh, into a pretty lady's bleh, pretty lady's teary eyes. At least she never she's never brought anyone back to her castle, but even so, I'll always get chills whenever she kidnaps someone. Oh. Shuten Doji. She's an Oni who lives on Mount Oe, though nobody knows when she moved there. Nobody knows how much about her, or knows much about her, except that she's real strong. We don't even know where she came from. All we really know is that she's powerful enough to make all the other Oni toe the line. I met her for the first time a few years ago. Her name means heavy drinker, and damn if it isn't fitting, she's never not drunk. You can tell from the way she talks. Apparently, she's the child of some super important god too. The very first time I met her, that's what she said to me. Well, look at that. What in the world are you doing here? Kaido Maru of, the, of Ashigara? Oh, you poor thing. Those Kyo warriors must have captured you, huh? Oh well. At least you got a nice, nice new outfit. So it looks like they're treating you well. So hey, Kaidomaru. Do you still remember me? I've never seen her before in my life. I run into other Oni, of course. There were a couple of them at Mount Ashigaru where I grew up, way off in Sagami in the east. But none of them were uh, but none of them were Shuten. The ones I met were different. At least that's what I thought. But then it's weird. For some reason, she did feel almost familiar when I met her. It was probably just some weird kind of familiarity that came with being another Oni. So I didn't bother saying that. Ah, oh, well, it's fine either way. Your eyes are, 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 yeah. Your eyes are really blue, aren't they? What do they call eyes like that again? Baby blues? Hmm, your eyes and hair go together really nicely with the moon. And then there's those big, strong arms. You got a, a, a wait, a Sekiryu's blood running through your veins, right? Drew really does like his eyes, huh? So then, they must be really hard to break, huh? Oh yes, you and I are going to have so much fun together. Oh, aren't we, brat? That's how it all started. That smile. That damn smile. And ask him. <laughs> That's where it all began. In practice, I guess it hasn't been all that long. But it's definitely been long enough for me. Here, hold on. There's no telling when she might try to tear off, uh, tear off more than just my arm. No, she, or wait, she, no. All on here are mercurial as hell. Also, the bit she said about the, said during the mansion attack about the moon gazing. Um, what did she say during that bit again? Also, my, uh, I know I heard the word mercurial before, but what does it mean again? Mercurial as hell. Changeable. Volatile. Fickle. Flighty. Erratic. Ah. Uh, 
All right. Hello, Miss Goomba. How you doing? Hope you're having a nice Thanksgiving day if you're in the U.S. or just having a nice day or evening wherever you are. That the moon that they moon watch together, but Kintoki doesn't remember that. You're Canadian. Ah, okay. Hope you're having a nice evening. <laughs> huh. They they moon watch together, but Kintoki doesn't remember. Oh, so wait, why doesn't Kintoki remember? Or is he like too young to remember? I, I don't remember. Or I don't know. One moment they're smiling at you, the next they tear you to shreds. To shreds, you say? <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, Asquall. I had a pretty nice Thanksgiving dinner earlier with my family. I had some decent turkey. I had some nice. Or kind of like all the stereotypical Thanksgiving stuff. Although, uh. With the slight, uh, different addition of, uh, what was it again? I forget the actual name, but usually my family and other people just refer, refer to it as Chinese broccoli. <laughs> just to throw in some extra veggies into the mix, and it was pretty good. They say at the very end of the chapter. Oh, yeah, my memory's potato right now. <laughs> They'll admire our house, then smash the splinters. They'll take the treasure they stole because they thought it was beautiful, then just crush it. That's why I'm always terrified whenever they kidnap someone. Saving SQ for Oberon? Hey, good luck. Not saving for Ibuki. No, just kidding. Good luck with that. In short, they met as children, so it's the childhood friends but the boy doesn't remember trope, except the girl's a demon now. Ah, uh, okay. I know I have to rescue him as fast as I can. Because if I don't, it's just a matter of time until their heads get torn off. Now I know they'll get eaten alive. One way or the other, they ain't getting out alive. That's just what Oni do. They can't help but rip, er, but rip even the things they love apart. They can't help feeling affectionate for things they kill either. Talk about a pain in the neck. They do share a faded bond? Yeah, they do. This is one hell of a... Complex like relationship here. Still, so far I haven't heard about her eating a single person in Kyo. Word has it she, uh, she ate a ton of people before her st she started living on Mount Oe. But in Kyo, nothing. At least not yet. In fact, she does seem to only get, really get worked up around me and Brother Usui. Apparently, she hasn't so much as torn a limb off anyone she's kidnapped. So wait, both have dragon gods as fathers, both have mountain witches as mothers? Oh. Huh. So it's kind of that common background that like, Shuten's always like, getting up close and personal with Kentoki and just teasing him all the freaking time. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if that's just because us warriors are rescuing them before she she or that she can, or if she. Uh. Hey, that Kentucky moat, yo, that's golden. Ah, <sighs> good grief. God or er, good goddamn grief. There's no way Oni and Genji could ever get along. I wonder. Just how long is this weird connection bet uh we've got gonna last? Ah, for a while, you should see yourselves like how they are. In Toki. You fall asleep? Nah, I'm awake. <laughs> no way, I'm not enough here. Eh, yeah, I was just thinking about stuff. I think she and I probably. Oh. Ah, never mind. Forget the same thing. So, you all done resting up? Then come on, the sooner we get to the Oni Castle, the better. Go on, Kirby. Let's go, Danzo. Bum bum. Is that? That is Rashomon, at the southern edge of Hayen Kyo's Suzaku Avenue. So wait, you grow to your Lance of Light 100? Hey, nice! So wait, that along with the real reason behind the Setsubon event, trying to find out how Tomoe's Oni ancestor was able to have a relationship with the human implies part about her real, unchanging feelings. Oh. 
or at least is very similar. Though it seems also, uh, it also seems to have had some um, unique design flourishes added to it. Huh? Well, ain't that a thing? Can't believe she didn't had a fake Rashomon built here. Maybe figure the castle alone wasn't just enough. Anyway, looks like the rumors I've heard about Oni being surprisingly good carpenters were spot on. What'd you say, Ibaraki? Funny, given how Mercurio Oni are, that's the only one thing that remains solid about her. Huh. Then the drink. <laughs> what are you doing here, human? Hey there. Not here to pick a fight today. You must have noticed what happened to the sky by now, right? And you can't like that creepy blood red moon crap any more than we do. We want to fix the moon and sky while we're at it. Or, and while we're at it, save Kyo. That's gotta sound good to you guys too, right? Alcoholism is hereditary? Yeah. And if that's not enough, there's also plenty of wine. Golden rice for you too. Then again, maybe Oni ain't, uh, got any, er, ain't even got any interest in rewards. Anyway, that's the deal, Ibaraki. How about it? Will you help us? Huh? What did you just say you want us to do, Heavenly King? Help us. Please. Uh, there's a new enemy out there who specializes in killing Genji. You mean you're not here to hunt us? I thought you'd given up on playing with Shuten during the Imperial Holy Grail War. And that you just decided to turn it into an Oni hunt. Uh, is that what this looks like? No. That ain't why we're here at all. Then where's uh, Raiko? He's not here. Suna. He's not here either. It's just us. So how about it, Ibaraki? Would you go get shooting so we can talk? I see, I see. Oh. So, you need our help, huh? Uh-oh. Well, 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 is that so? Oh, she's taking advantage of the situation. In that case, I'd be more than happy. Over your dead bodies, I don't know. To a fuse! Oh. <laughs> Foolish humans. You should have known better than to show your faces in any territory. And you came here to ask us for help? You'd be lucky to leave alive, and today you're not lucky. Heavenly King or not, it's, it's still just you. There's no Suno or Raiko to bail you out now. Well, I guess you also have a puppet and a brat with you, but that's basically nothing. I'm amazed you thought you would come to my new Rashomon like that. Uh, Hojikuma Doji. Large hostile detected. It looks similar to the one we encountered at Omiya Road. I told you we didn't come here to fight! Let's go, Hojikuma. Tonight we'll be moon gazing with the fresh head of a heavenly king for a snack. Ha 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 ha! Now die! Oh. I always love how they do a little attack animation to transition into uh, the uh, the loading screen. <laughs> that, that's a little neat. How many guts? Oh. That's a lot of guts. Well,それが良いかと。Alright, so I'd say this is pretty free. Alright, easy. 
So given the amount of people she is coached about, how is some spare? How is some spare? Oh, did I read that already? Oh. 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 Oh, they get oh, oh my god. Shut up! Ah! Hojikuma! Damn you, Kintoki! How dare a human do that? Yeah, Alright, I don't- I didn't want to do this. But if I wake up, uh, uh, Kanekuma Doji... <laughs> uh... This little bonk on the head. Ow! Oh. The Hoshikuma or Hoshikuma Doji has been neutralized, and Ibaraki Doji seems to not be a threat anymore. It um seems someone hit her on the head from behind and knocked her out. Oh. Probably just looked like a light tap, didn't it? Well, don't be fool. If that or if that had been Kirby's head, it would have been it would have burst like an overripe pomegranate falling to the ground. And that's the description. Well, hi there. Lovely evening, isn't it? Not every night you, you get to see the moon bleed. Sorry about Ibaraki. Things have been crazy up on the mountain. She's just a little... on edge. Excuse me, an, exa an example. I'm kind of surprised she didn't just devour the little human on the spot. Then again, maybe I shouldn't be seeing how you're here too, Baby Blues. Huh, who knows? You trying to say my, my life suits- er, er, you trying to say my life suits me, Shuten? <laughs> Please don't glare at me like that. It's so scary. You came to talk, right? So let's talk. Although, I think I'd rather talk with a girl with the red hair than you, Baby Blues. Oh. What do you say, girl? Want to have a little chat? Or maybe... We could share a drink. I've also got some very sweet cake that you- or if you like. You know, now that I look closer, I can see it in your eyes. You've seen things I can't even imagine. Why don't I gouge them out for you? Whoop. Oh, come on! That was my best joke, you know. Haven't we known each other long enough for you to get a sense of my humor by now? You're no fun. Oh right, you can have this back. I maybe got a little carried away and ripped it off. Accident, I swear. But Donzo's right arm? Uh, I was careless. She removed my right arm in the instant I moved to intercept her just now. Uh, Shooting. Oh my, why are you looking at me like that? You're frightening me again, you know. I just put a little harder than I meant to, that's all. Besides, I never meant to, I never break such a pretty puppet. Take a closer look. Her arm came off nice and neat, no? Master, Lord Kentoki, it's alright. Jutin Doji is telling the truth. She did remo remove my right arm, but can I reattach it like so? Yeah. Whoop. There, good as new. Hang on, I'll, ha I'll cast a healing spell for good measure. Activating Mystic Code. Thank you, Master. I am truly in your debt. Oh. Ah, good grief. Look, I know you well enough by now to know, or I know you well enough by now to know you must have been listening in, or listening in on our talk with Ibaraki. So, what do you say, Shuten Doji? Why, sure. Oh. After a quick battle? Cool. Just like that. 
the, the mood was so tense just a moment ago, and now... I don't get it. That's exactly it. It's okay, Kirby. Tristan's always down for a party. Hell yeah. Don't bother trying to understand her. There's no point in twisting yourself in into knots over it. This is kind of... This is just how Oni are. Tristan. Yes? Can I take that to mean you'll help us? Hmm... Yes. Now that Paracelsus is gone and the Imperial what's it is over, I don't have much else going on anyway. So why not? I don't mind. Besides, it's been ages since we last played together. <laughs> I wonder when the last time was uh, we fought together like this. But never. This will be the first time. Oh, really? Also, I better tell you this now. The enemy we'll be going up against is crazy strong. They're called the Hashojin. We already went up against two of them, and they were unbelievably tough. Even after beating them, I still don't feel like we won. Well, it's more like I still haven't been able to win against them. Fought, a, fought them, sure. But it was Raikou and Suna that finished them off. Oh my, is that so? I never thought I'd hear you say anything like that. <laughs> so, er, so you're saying you're not all excited? Er, you're not all excited to fight such strong enemies? Are you scared? Oh, poor baby. Oh my god. Well then. It sounds like this girl's a whole lot braver than you. Isn't that right, girl? Let's see, you said your name was Kirby, right, sweetie? You're dressed like a grown-up, and you're about the right age for humans to agree. Ag agree? Dare I ask, agree to one. But from where I stand, you're still just a baby. A kitten, a duckling, a teeny tiny child. Agree that she is an adult? Wait, did I, uh... Oh, oh, yeah, I, 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 I kind of misread part of the arrangement of that. Oh, you are, right? I can see it all in your eyes, you know. I'm not a child anymore. <laughs> Depends on what year it is. Uh, I may be young, but I'm not a child. Uh, <laughs> you're adorable. That's exactly what every little kid says. I'm not mocking you, you know. Just the opposite. I'm complimenting you. You should be proud. You're so practically a, practically a baby. But you've got nerves of steel. So tell me something. Why are you fighting this oh-so-scary enemy, mm hmm? So I can go home. And take back our world. Ah. Huh. I'm not sure what that's all about, but it sounds much more interesting than I expected. This child is something else, isn't she, brat? <laughs> I bet that throat of yours must taste real nice given what comes out of it. And your tongue looks so nice and soft too. Oh. No more jokes, Lady Shuten Doji. Aw, oh, so mean. You too, brat. I could tell you were just planning to cut off my arms. Damn straight. Be great if we still have a head. That's my friend, no. My boss you just threatened. There's no way in hell I'm gonna let you eat her. We need her alive and well. Well, there's no point in you helping us out at all. Fine, I got it. <laughs> Goodness, you really are desperate, aren't you? This enemy really must be a strong if they got you on- or this- or if they got you this on edge. Oh, right. About them. Hey boss, seeing how you and Donza were talking earlier. I'm guessing you Chaldeans also know who this psycho person really is, uh... Wait, really is, uh... You do, don't you? Then please, could you tell us more about them? Oh man, more exposition? I'm ready. Oh boy.
the way, there doesn't exist in... Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> well... I think it's time to... I think it's time to bust out Summer Kiara. Hell yeah, let's go. I am Kagekiyo. I am hatred personified. I am not an individual, but a collection of many. I have been Tyrant no Kagekiyo since I first took form. There is not only one Kagekiyo. At least 37 Kagekiyos made attempts on Yoritomo's life. Were but one Kagekiyo to die, Kagekiyo would live on. And, er, in time, another Kagekiyo must always appear and exact revenge on the Genji. Sometime later, after Kagekiyo be had become a legend and been inscribed to the Throne of Heroes, someone told me, Kagekiyo is the very concept of killing the Genji. Now I am here in Heian Kyo, a phenomenon made possible by the twisted machinations of the pseudo tree of emptiness. The personified conception of a grudge born against the, against the Genji found the perfect vessel in Minamoto no Yoshitsune, another legend with, with cause to hate the Genji. Hatred lies at the very heart of the heroic spirit uh, of Yoshitsune. Hatred for her brother, Minamoto no Yoritomo. Indeed, the former Yoshitsune, layered deep with grudges, suits uh, Kagekiyo well. I am Kagekiyo, and I am Yoshisune. I am Yoshisune, and I am Kagekiyo. All Genji must die. Tonight, I will annihilate them. There is no place for Genji in this world twisted by the roots of cosmic fantasy. Now then. A bridge. A bridge, huh? How strange. It's been quite some time since I began staring at this bridge uh, Kagekiyo doesn't, does not recognize. I have tarried long, tarry long enough. Come, Kagekiyo uh, Yoshitsune. Come, great Tsuchigumo uh, Kugamimi no, uh, no Mikasa. You have been waiting patiently. Now we resume our exter extermination. I remember this place. This bit is obvious if I know how Ushi met uh, Benki. I don't. I I don't remember. I, I I don't think I ever read up on how they actually met up. Kagekiyo may have no recollection whatsoever of this bridge. But Yoshitsune's body does. After all, this is where Yoshitsune's own battle began. I cannot let you pass. If you wish to get by me, you will need to hand over your sword first. Benki. Hear me, Ushiwaka. You and your brother must avenge your father and destroy the Tyra clan. There you go. Hey. Mother. <laughs> you look like you you look just like uh Tokiwa Ushiwakamaru. It warms my heart. I will let no harm come to you. I'll defend you with my life. For you are living proof that Ta the Tyra defeated the Genji. Tyra no Kiyomori. Well done. Well done indeed. You have trained your body to perfection, uh Shano. But don't think I've forgotten how you snuck a peek, uh, peek at my uh, Rikuto uh, Sanryako, or Ryaku, my teacher. 
Remember this well, Overseer Yoshisune. If you remain as you are, you're merely their dog. Killing me will not end this war, for I and the Tyro clan are not Lord Yoitomo's only enemies. You will be next. Lord Yoshinaka. I will accompany you wherever you go, Lord Yoshisune. All I ask you or ask is that you let me stay by your side until the very end. Chizuka. I will keep Lord uh, Chitose Maru safe. So first, Lord Yoshisune, we must make it out of here alive. Uh, Hitachi Bell. So wait, Yoshi's teacher was a Tengu, similar to Traveler's Kentoki. Excuse me. Okay, hold on, I need to get the mic. Excuse me. I had a similar childhood as Kintoki playing on a mountain with the animals and yokai there. Oh. Forgive me, uh, Yoshisune. They brought that up on Summer 3 and 5. I don't remember! I do not- I do not understand you. Brother. Ooh. Halt. No ordinary person would be carrying a sword across the bridge at this hour of night. How can I let you pass? Oh. <laughs> oh. So if you wish to get by me, you will need to hand over your sword first. What an odd thing to say to me. What do you think you're doing, Genji? I'm Kagekyo. Nothing you have to say will make any difference. That's so. Uh, I was going for my best Benki impression, but I don't know how well I did. What do you think, uh, Minamoto no uh, Yoshisune? <laughs> I'm Kagekyo, bringer of death to all Genji. You know nothing, especially of Benki. Now that you have thrown your, your lot in with the Genji, your life is forfeit. I commend your bravery, foolish though it may be, for even breathing in my presence. But it won't be long now before you lose the strength in your limbs, and then your life. We'll see about that. So you're right about one thing, honored descendant. I don't know much of anything. I want to ask Ushiwaka Maru. No. Overseer Miramoto no Yoshisune. Warrior from the future we created. See, I heard all about you on the way here from the mountain. I heard about how you live your life here, or live your life, and how, or and about how you lost it. People end up telling you, or telling your story for years after your death. Overseer Yoshisune is like one of the same, uh, or is uh one of the same as saying an underdog. I know I never forget about a warrior who accomplished incredible feats only to meet with a cruel and tragic end. The more I heard about you, the more things added up. You were someone real special. Not much is damn certain. But... There's always something about your story that didn't make sense to me. That's why I wanted to ask you, Minamoto no Yoshisune, about it directly. So, tell me Yoshisune, Ushiwaka, are descended from tomorrow who already died. Why did you... Silence! I am Kagekyo. My corpse's true name is of no significance. Death comes. Great Tsuchigumo uh, wait, uh, Kugamimi uh, no Mikasa. It seems Kagekyo is no longer willing to talk, Lord Kintoki. Master and I back you up as best we can. <sighs> I was wondering what this Genji poison stuff would be like. Uh-huh. Uh I see. That, so that's how it works. All right, Brad and Boss, let's, let's get started. Understood. Genji, advance! Hell yeah. Genji, advance. Let's see what you got, Minamoto no Yoshitsune. Oh, let's go.
私の力が必要ならば全力を挙げるなれば All Genji must die 熱を帯びなさい丸み運命をかけた戦いであれば早だけですよ軽めよ She does more damage to Genji Trade servants, but also takes more damage from them. Yeah, yeah. That's damage. That's a lot of damage. A much more simple gimmick. Yeah, like this gimmick, like you said, it really is a breather. All right. Spider's basically not a part of this fight. What? What spider? <laughs> nah, just kidding. All right, how much more damage am I gonna do with this with the overcharge? Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh my god, it's so, it's so nice having <laughs> it's so nice having Summer Kiara. The like her special debuff. Oh my god, this goes with damage so hard. And we get to do it again. Although, what's the new gimmick this time? NP unknown. Uh, I mean, it makes sense since, you know, <laughs> this is the living uh, shooting we have here. But let's go again! <sighs> My head's pounding. I'm all dizzy. Speed, strength, they got it all and then some. As a dealing with one alone wasn't hard enough. Never find both at the same time like that. Won't be dead in no time, right, Shuten? <laughs> this is so much fun. You're spry for an old spider, aren't you? Here, spider, spider. This way, just follow. The sound of clapping. Oh. A demonic wine tsunami. Well done. I never knew Shuten Doji was so skilled at warfare. Not only is she leading the Tsujigumo away from Lord Kintoki, she's also neutralizing the Genji poison in the air by sending out wave after wave of demonic wine. Demonic wine? I had no idea Shuten Doji used alcohol as a source of power when she was still alive, even if it does differ from her heroic spirit's noble phantasm. It must be a secret technique of hers uh, the legends never mentioned. Perhaps she learned it in China, since so little is known about her uh, time there. Oh. Huh. She has something similar. Interesting. Oh my, somebody's angry. Maybe it's time you took a little break. Don't you think, Grandpa? I heard all about you, you know. Great Sujigumo uh, Kugamimi no Mikasa, the big old monster that used to live on Mount Oe. Of course, I also heard you were ki killed a long, long time before we got there. Goodness, these heroic spirit things are so strange. Why it's like the dead have come back to life. But you see... 
That mountain's all mine now. So it's time you went back to the hell you came from. Ooh, was this something I said? You're so scary all of a sudden. I should warn you, when I get scared, I start tearing things apart. I hope you don't mind. Oh. Oh. Shoot and tore the massive enemy to pieces. The shreds, you say. <laughs> its magical energy is fading rapidly. Master! Talisman time. That takes care of the third general god. Though I must say, I'm still in awe of your technique, Shuten Doji. It was so fast even my sensor couldn't follow along, but it looked like you unleashed an ultra high speed attack in tandem with a huge wave from your demonic wine barrage. So just to drive it home once again, Shuten is so fucking strong and is holding back almost all the time. Yeah. Did I? I'm not entirely sure what I did either, I just felt like tearing it to shreds. Though there are a few things I'm sure of now. Hey Brad, I figured out the trick behind that Genji poison. That Otsujigo was giving off a miasma mixed with some kind of spell. Very strange. Anyway, you Genji warriors won't have to worry about getting paralyzed from just breathing anymore. Go nuts, Brad. Awesome. Thanks. Now I can finally fight you without anything getting in the way, honored descendant. No. Uchiwakamaru. If you wish to cross this bridge. You will need to cross blades with me first. I'm the depraved monk sworn to collect a thousand swords. My name... Oh my god, he really has reenacting this shit. My name is Musashibo Benki. You still persist with this game? I cannot let you cross Godo uh, Gojo Bridge. Stop it. I see you carry a most excellent blade indeed. Stop it. Very well then. I, Benki, have decided yours uh, shall be my thousandth blade. Come, child. Draw your sword. Stop it, Benki! Oh. The rapid magical energy increase has resulted in a spirit origin ascension. Be careful, everyone. I... I... I am Yoshisune. I am Kagekiyo. No, no, no. No. I am Overseer Minamoto no Yoshisune. This corpse once belonged to Shanao, to Ushiwaka. Do not dare pretend to be Benki. What do you know of him? I. What you know of him? I fought, and fought, and fought, and fought. And after a lifetime of fighting, my reward was fire and blades. My brother was oblivious to my true feelings. He ignored every word I spoke to him. I'll never forget how he wronged me. Is that what should be? Yeah, I was like, what you know? I was like, nah, they, 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 they accidentally a word, didn't they? Even if my soul shatters into a thousand pieces, I'll never forget this grudge I bear. My feelings were betrayed. The path I walked abruptly ended. No light awaits me wherever where I go now. Any future I once had is gone now. Curse you. Curse you, Yoritomo. Curse you, Japan. Curse you, Genji. How dare a lowly grunt like you pretend to be Benki? Now feel my wrath. Bring it. I've been waiting to see what you've got. I don't have anything to say to this er, I don't have anything to say to this Kagekyo person. You're the only one I want to talk to, Yoshisune. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Bonus effect after defeat. Recover your HP when defeating an enemy. Oh. 
Interesting, so if one of us dies then... Or if one of my servants die, she'll heal. go with a brave chain then if I want to make sure I get enough NP out of this. Oh! Actually, I heard the, I heard the confirmation. Yo, sweet. Wait, apply Genji trait? Well then. Think you just get to ignore the gimmick? Why oh, yes. I do. <laughs> mm. You know what? I want an encore. One more. ああ、こんなに晴れやかな気持ちになるなんて癖になってしまいそう。Again! Oh, seems like he's beaten up here. Man, you're strong! Yep, cut and torn a bit. Nothing on his uh, gauntlet, though. Ooh! But I'm not done yet. I'm still standing on a descendant. Hmm. All that bloody losing looks really delicious. Does that mean you're done? You're done pretending to be Benki? Anyway, you sure got carried away, didn't you? <laughs> you do realize that samurai there is uh, filled with Genji poison from head to toe, right, Breath? You might not have to worry about the air you breathe now that that, er, now that uh, Kugab er. Kugumimi no Mikasa's gone. But if you keep letting the samurai poke holes in you like that, you won't live much longer, you know. I'm not gonna die. Besides, I'm Benke now. And Benke never stops then. You know, after taking a hundred arrows. So yeah, I ain't gonna die, Shuten. You know why? Because I still haven't gotten to ask a single question. Hey, honor descendant. Minamoto no Yoshisune. What could you have to say to me, Genji? No, wait, that's not right. I have nothing to say to you, Genji. Now offer up your head. I want... Wait. They, they kind of forgotten all in front of that. All I want is my brother's head. That is all I, Yoshisune, truly want. Only Yoritomo's head. But if I cannot have his head, you will offer yours in its place. In your veins flow the blood of Yoritomo, uh, wait, the blood Yoritomo will one day inherit. They forgot the all but capitalized the I. I'm gonna chalk that up to software doing that automatically, because I know there's like certain, like, uh, like, text software that like automatically capitalizes standalone eyes. Like, even like, on, what was it? 
I mean, I'm not sure what the work setup it is for translating this stuff, but... Eh, who knows? Maybe they just have an automatic capitalized feature. As they're typing this shit. So offer your head to me. If you, believe, if you refuse, then I'll kill you myself. I will annihilate every last one of uh, Sewa, Sewa Genji's ancestors. Taro no Kagekyo! You look a lot like another heroic spirit I know. What? Okay, okay, don't get too close now. Those spells you're casting on Kintoki are great and all. But if you get too close to them, it may be your head that gets that goes rolling. My head? My head, huh? Hmm. Hey, Descendant! No! Overseer Yoshisune! You pick up that head fixation from the warriors out east. Fine then. I equate Sakata Kintoku will risk my own head to ask you this. Uh huh. Uh huh, that got your attention. See, you really do want my head that er. You really do want my head pretty bad, don't you? Alright, if you beat me, my head is yours to cut off. But first, you're gonna have to answer my question. Because there's something I gotta ask you no matter what. Minamoto no Yoshisune, Ushiwakamaru. I descended from Tamaru who already died. Let me ask you this one more time. Why did you fight? Why were you able to kill? Why were you able to steal? It couldn't just have been about survival. Not for you, anyway. No, you fought. And fought. And fought. Right up until you met a tragic end. You fought so hard you became a hero a thousand years from now in Kirby's world. You must have had a reason for that. What drove a hero like you to fight so hard? Hero. That's right, you were a hero. And that's why I gotta ask. What drove you to kill a hundred, hell, a thousand enemy soldiers? What was it all ultimately for? You became a hero on the battlefield. <sighs> so I gotta know. Why did you fight? Why? You wanna know why? You say... I became a hero. Master, may I say something? Something about Psycho Tar uh, Taro no Kagekyo has changed over the course of this questioning. They must have become something entirely different from a uh, hatred personified. I think their true pers personality has surfaced, even if only temporarily. And has done so despite the curse embedded on in their corpse. We saw the same thing with Lord uh, Tawara, uh, Tawara Tota and Lady Suzuka Gozen, as well as during the Shimosa incident. Though they may be not corp, they may not be corpses tormented by a curse. They still retain a fragment of their pride as heroic spirits and heroes who made their mark on human history. I can't believe you, Sakara Kintoki. You possess strength well beyond ordinary people. Yet you still remain resolutely on their side. And despite all that, you still don't know why I fought. <laughs> you truly are something else, Kintaro Mount Ashigara. That's the second time someone's called me that. Why do I fight? A ridiculous question. I fight for the same reason anyone fights. We fight with all our heart and soul to make the ideals we hold we hold dear a reality. That is what defines us as Genji warriors. Oh. Ideals, huh? So that's your answer. Got it. So, a battle between warriors is a battle between ideals. In that case, you ain't got nearly enough to beat me as you are now. Huh. Nonsense. You who possess power. You who thirst, yearn, sh and struggle to make your wishes reality. If your desires are true, then join battles I kill you, er, wait, er, and kill as you must. If you dream of seeing what lies beyond tomorrow, use the power you possess to make your own way through me. You better believe I will. If I can't, my head's all yours. Announcer where? 
This is the bloodstained battlefield of Limbo, where the losing heroic spirit soul shall be consumed upon defeat. The Imperial Deathmatch Stage. My corpse's cursed name, Miramoto no Yoshisune. My soul's cursed name, Saikyo Taira no Kagekyo. My rage and hatred will cut you down in your tracks. Hear me, O oh frightful gods, and laugh. Hear me, O oh glittering sun, and shine. Now come, and show me the extent of your power. Show me what you will do to see your tomorrow. Alright, my descendant. You asked for it. Alright. Solo fight time. Oh, whoops. Oh, I picked the wrong support. <gasps> I was like, wait, that's not Caster Artoria. Something looks a little different there. <laughs> Nero defense is falling. <laughs> no, not on the deathmatch stage. It may be a stage, but it's the wrong one. Sleepy, sleepy. I think the food coma is hitting. Oh yeah, I forgot to make some tea to wash down all that, uh, all the Thanksgiving dinner. Oh well, it didn't take too long to boil water and make some tea. Given it's on fire, nah, it's the right one for she who fiddle while Rome burned. The both sides. Under the dark sun. Offer up your lives. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, BB doesn't have that's annoying. So that's propaganda by the way. Nero wasn't even in Rome when the fire happened. Immediately went back out there. They heard what happened. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Hmm. That's So, by accounts, most of the bats of here about Nero is actually propaganda, maybe not all of it, but most of it. Huh. I don't think this will give me some loot, right? Ah, uh, no. Uh, I think even with the Brave Chain, I don't think I'll be able to... No, I don't think I'll be able to really... ...loop with the... Oh, no. oh wait, one more time? No, 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 wrong one, wrong one. Eww, that's not good. I don't have any purges. They were apparently loved by the common folk, hated by the politicals. Yeah, it always comes down to politicals, huh? Yeah, let's just remove Invincible. And so one turn evasion too. Blech. And this one was like remove debuffs and restore HP, right? And debuff immune for one ally. Hmm. 
Put a lot of money into public work projects, some would say too much even. Aww. Hmm. You know, I got a bad feeling about this. So wait. Decrease debuff resist. Increase with overcharge. Okay. Gonna go for the two hitter here. So I'm gonna have to stall out a bit so I can actually recover uh, more MP here. Actually, I should use Tamala to recover Kulan even more. Because oh. I'm having that paranoid feeling of max NP on break, on final break. Is it gonna be that simple? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, they're gonna, they're gonna do that, aren't they? Ooh. Oh boy, was I bad at math. Boy, do I suck at math. Just playing fair by feeding your side 100 bar as well. I was like, oh yeah, thanks for the full bar. Well, if somebody dies anyways. Okay. Well, there's one thing I know what there's one thing I know to do. We're gonna stall until we get that cooldown back. Because we ain't doing shit now. Yeah, we'll go like this. We'll work at it slowly. <laughs> and Uno Mas. Two twenties, huh? All right, I like these odds. Boss fight, I'm so thankful. <sighs> so much more relaxing compared to earlier. Thank you. Hold on, real quick. Oh shit. It's hard to believe, but even as they're both locked in a furious battle to the death, neither are giving it, or neither giving an inch. 
They all seem to be enjoying themselves. Watch the battle intently. You're right, they do look like they're having fun. <laughs> I thought I was it was just the other day, but it looks like it's been longer than I thought. It's almost like Baby Blues is back to his old bratty self. Yeah, this is pretty much exactly. What he was like back then. He threw himself at his opponents with all his might, never considering that his own life would end one day. Huh. When he gets like this, I don't think there's any chance he'd stop while he's breathing. There. It may not be much, but Lord Kintoki still managed to overpower Kagekyo. This is our chance, Master. I'm not stopping here! Boss! By my command spell. I swear upon this battle. Bring us victory! This ends now! Releasing Noble Phantasm. Fleeting world, fleeting might. Hurrah! I don't know if I've ever seen such a reckless, headstrong warrior before. Well fought, honored ancestor. However, though I did make use of uh, Kugamimi no Mikasa's miasma to spread it, the Genji poison always came from me. I was its source. I am an Avenger. My sole purpose is to bring death to all Genji. Every strike of my blade, every exhalation of my breath, even my very gaze is meant for killing Genji. You must have known that after crossing blades with me, and yet... You never attempted to change the way you fight. Even I can't help but be surprised at that. I see how self- er, uh, now how selfless you have been. And how fearlessly you devoted yourself to our battle. I could expect no less from one of the original pillars of our Genji clan. Well done. Truly. So, I do not know how much my how much meaning my words will hold for you, but Kintoki, Lord Sakara Kintoki, of Raiko's four heavenly kings. Oh, if by chance, hold on. Ah, this is a cool frontal portrait of her. Huh. You should survive this deathmatch. Then continue on your current path. Indeed, you have been walking your own path for some time. And now you are beginning not to walk, but to run. Even if you must tear through a corpse consumed by vengeance, as you have done here. All you need to do is keep running with all your heart and soul. Till you reach the end. Know that you are on, on the right path. And keep moving forward. Do that. And I have no doubt you will accomplish many things. I have no doubt you will triumph over many hardships. In fact, for what little it may, may be worth. I will go so far as, as to guarantee it. Oh! There. I've said what I had to say. All I ask now is that you do not forget it. Hey, look who it is now. Aww. Talisman! The talisman! <gasps> oh, what? What, what the? Last thing I remember, I just fired off a big blast of lightning. And I thought for sure I was done for. Huh. Uh, Psycho... Uh, Psycho... Uh, 
Taro no Kagekiyo's spirit origin is completely gone. Gotcha. Indeed, I've confirmed that both their spirit origin and spirit core have disappeared. Though, of course, thanks to Lord Sammy's talisman, we should not have to worry about Saikyo Taro no Kagekiyo's soul being absorbed by the Naraka Mandala. That's great. I can hope for more. So, uh, by the way. Now that the Genji now that Genji's poison made its way through my system, I don't expect I'll be around much longer, so. Um, sorry. I recite a poem for, uh, before I go, but I was never much good at book, uh, good at book learning. Would you mind uh, reciting one of my stead, Kirby? Why bother? Come on, don't be like that. That ain't golden at all. We all fought Yoshi Suna together with every bit of strength we had, didn't we? So you can't at least send me off with. Don't be so quick to throw away your life, damn it. What? Idiot. You're not going to die. Huh? It's true, your vital signs are all stable, Lord Kentoki. You have lost a great deal of blood, and you did have some fractures and ruptured organs. Uh, just some ruptured organs, some fractures, some like internal bleeding, and uh, uh, head, pro possible head trauma. <laughs> but those injuries seem to have already healed on their own. Perhaps it's because you are the ch uh, you are the child of Sekiryu. Huh. So I'm not gonna die. Nope. So, what do you say we keep going? Of course you're not. You didn't even notice what was happening, did you? All that sour's animosity for the for the Genji. Disappeared while you two were talking things out. As for the blood you lost, you'll get it all back once you had a decent meal, no? Oh. Gotcha. So the grudge was already gone, huh? That's... Kentoki is built demigod solid. Hell yeah. Oh, on second thought, never mind. Alright, boss. Shoot, Ted. Danza, let's get back to the Genji house. All those muscles protect him like Herx. <laughs> I need no armor, for my muscles will protect me. We still got four general gods left, so we gotta stay on our guard. That damn smile.